Alright kids, so uh, get the fuck out because this video is for people above the age of 13. So if you're under the age of 13, please get the fuck out. So uh, yeah, we're gonna get we're gonna get started here with our fucking uh, best black series list here. So uh, yeah, let's uh, get started with our honorable mentions here. So uh, obviously, as you can see, I have a few 2018 figures in here, being uh. The clone uh, Captain Rex and Bespin Han Solo. That is only because, well, I got them this year, but they aren't figures that came out, so their honorable mentions is I do love those, and I hate lists that like include a figure from 15 years ago on their list just because the figure's rare and that's the favorite thing they bought. Sorry, so unprofessional. My throat hurts, uh, my voice sucks right now. So, uh,. Right now, I'm working on this video. <coughs> Alright, so let's get started in number 10, kids. Alright, so up at number 10, I'm giving it to Archive Anakin Skywalker. Solid figure, very poseable. Uh, Obi-Wan and Yoda almost edged him out. Um, great figure, though. I have to say, I really like him. And I highly recommend it. It's not too hard to find either, so... Yeah, uh, also uh, thanks to Jake Sims uh, here in the back uh, for helping me out with this video. Uh, anyway, let's uh, get to number nine. It's my heart, but up in number nine, I have to give it to the Purge Trooper. Um, it's just a repaint of the Clone Trooper body, and, uh, you know, it sucks that this guy was really hard to find for, like, the first week he was out. And now he's not too hard to find. You guess he wasn't a full-time... Rare figure, but I wouldn't consider him a peg warmer. But really awesome. Uh, I'm just giving him this gun because I couldn't find his rifle. But, uh, yeah, he's number nine. At number eight, we have Ray. Or, uh, well, spoilers. Uh, give me a few seconds. Please get out, kids. <laughs> Alright, so, yeah, we have Ray Palpatine here. Uh, very awesome figure, um, very detailed, very poseable. I like her accessories a lot, being Dio. I don't get why the staff is, you know, you can take it apart just because, well, the lightsaber, she never makes a lightsaber out of that staff in the movie, but, you know, it's really cool. So, uh, I'm going to give her, uh, number, um, eight. At number seven, we have Supreme Leader Kylo Ren from The Rise of Skywalker. Yeah, he's pretty good. I just wish they would have came with a, a face um, scan uh, Adam Driver had because they didn't. They have never done one of those. And, well, they need to because we have a Daisy Ridley with a face scan. We just don't have. Uh, we have like four, so we really need a face scan Adam Driver head. But yeah, after that's really good. Um, I like the burn marks. I just wish they were more uh, noticeable on the figure, and also the cape gets in the way. But it's actually a very solid re-release of the other Kylos, and I have to say, it's probably the best Kylo we've got. So, uh, anyway, that was number seven. And up at number six, we have my second Sith Trooper, as I couldn't find the weapon for the other one. Uh, but here is the Sith Trooper I got for like ten bucks at Kohl's. Uh, pretty much a very solid figure. Um, I don't know why I was emphasizing that. But this is my second one. So, uh, pretty much, um... Yeah, very awesome. So, yeah. Uh, up, number, number five, our top five contender is Cal Kestis. Very awesome figure. I like the uh, posability on it. The detail is really good. Looks just like the actor. I don't remember his name off the top. Cameron Monaghan. That's his name. Very, um, very solid uh, posability. Uh, I love the lightsaber. However, spoilers for the game, I really wish they would have included uh, the double-bladed lightsaber. I think that would have been really cool. Because you could... Well, yeah, well, after the game came out. They didn't show it off till it... They didn't show it off until the game came out. It's in the Darth Vader and stuff. But, um, yeah. Love Number four, I have the Amazon exclusive two-pack of Chewie and uh, C-3PO. Um, I had to include them both, mostly because the C-3PO is more of an accessory to Chewie if you take them apart. I put the bag around 3PO just because I think it's easier for storage. But, um, you know, there's parts you could take 3PO apart, put them in the bag, uh, using the, uh, wire pieces, and put them on Chewie's back. He looks really cool. I think I have some pictures I might insert at the end. 
But yeah, love them. Number three, our bronze medalist is General Grievous. Yeah, this fucker can't stand, so I just kind of have him kneeling. Um, he looks shitty, but he t told me about it. He's actually really good. Uh, nice posability, nice detail. I like the cape. Uh, he has a few issues. I don't know why I gave him number three. I just think he's a really awesome figure. So, uh, yeah, let's get to uh, our, civil, uh, our silver medalist. Jeez, I don't have a damn lisp. All right. Our silver medalist is going to be the Mandalorian, specifically the carbonized version. Uh, I love the articulation, I love the detail, love the character, love the, um, look of him. Very, uh, awesome. Um, I don't really have much to say, as I think I would have gave him this spot even before I watched the show. I just think it's, a, it's an awesome figure, so, yeah. Alright, let's get to our, uh, our, uh, gold, gold medalist. Or, yeah, gold. The actual number one contender is Emperor Palpatine. Very awesome. I almost gave it to Mando, but uh, Palpatine is such an awesome figure. He's got all these accessories, like the uh, lightning hands and the um, the cane. Yeah, the different heads, like the calm head, the angry head, and the smiling head, which I have on him right now. Obviously the chair. Yeah, the chair. Um, I do wish he came with a lightsaber, but that that's I'm using this, the one from Cock Python, as is. So, um... Yeah, here's, uh, yeah, he's number one. They all are in their own, in their own, uh, completion. Uh, Palpatine, as you can tell, killed Rock Python. Or was that Vader, uh, in the background? Uh, so, anyway, uh, this is a who killed Rock, or Cock Python, uh, display here. So, um, yeah, anyway, here are all the best figures of the year in Cock Python. Um, let me know what you guys think about my, uh, my little selection here. Hopefully this video is under 15 minutes, so, uh, video around my, or iMovie is not my ass. Anyway, love you guys. Uh, that was kind of gay. Alright, so, um, may the force be with you. Uh, stay weeaboo. No, what don't the, stay weeaboo. What the fuck? I don't, I don't fucking know. Alright, may the force be with you guys.